Hey, it's David. Welcome or welcome back to Cross Fitness, helping men and women get in the best spiritual shape in their lives one workout at a time. Quick thought uh, about God that I'm calling, really, it's a question. What is the chief aim of man? That's a very famous question uh, posed by the uh, what I understand to be the Westminster Short Catechism. Okay, the Westminster Short Catechism. Okay. And I heard this in a, in a message by Levi Lusco uh, from Fresh, Fresh Life Church this morning, so credit um, and kudos to him for bringing this to attention. But that question um, was something that was given considerable thought by um, this group. And uh, it's like, what's the point of life? Why are we here? What's the big idea for mankind being on the earth? What is the chief aim of man was the question. They distilled it down into a single phrase that like in over 300 years, it hasn't been, it hasn't been clarified. I mean, it's just so crystal clear. It just wasn't improved upon. It's the Westminster uh, short, Shorter Catechism. And it says this, the chief aim of man is to glorify God and enjoy him forever. Let me say it again. The chief aim, aim of man is to glorify God and enjoy him forever. That's the catechism. That's something that they said that we can say. And I encourage you to do so, to consider as you take it into your workday today. You know, our, our main goal, our big idea today in this 1,440 minutes that God has given us called today is to glorify God and to enjoy his presence forever. Enjoy him forever. Listen, uh, it's not always gonna be as hard as it is right now in our life. You know, we live in the here and now, but there is a here and now, but there is a then and there. Okay, we're mortal, mortal people living in a fallen world with imperfect flawed people, including ourselves, right? But the other side of the coin is, if you're born again, you are already uh, a, a partaker of the divine nature. Uh, you were made and f manufactured and fabricated to live forever. And if you're a Christ follower, your spirit is reborn. The old is gone, the new has come. And that part of infinity forever is already embedded in you in the person of the Holy Spirit. Okay? And so there is a new world coming. There's a new heaven. There's a new earth. You can read about it in Revelation 21, 22. But, and that's where the, you know, enjoy him forever part, but we can enjoy him right now because all we have is now. Yesterday's, I've heard it said that yesterday is a mystery, uh, is history, tomorrow's a mystery, but all we have is today. So let's live in the moment today uh, to glorify God and enjoy him today, tomorrow, the day after that, you know, next week, next month, next quarter, next year, uh, whatever, however long the Lord has given us in our numbered days, and let's glorify him uh, by the grace of God, through the power of the Holy Spirit. And let's just enjoy him today. So I hope that encourages you. Think about that, meditate on that, ruminate on that today. For now, I'm David, your virtual mentor, reminding you that I'm always for you. I'm never against you. Blessings. Take care.